All right, well, we opened the busted rare. So that's nice. This card is so silly with Shrike Force. <laughs> um, what else is there in the pack? We're passing Repel Calamity, which is pretty solid. Some people say this card's good. I don't know. Bird Buster, indeed. Collector Solid. There's nothing else like ridiculously amazing in this pack. Bird is pretty, pretty comfortably the best card. Hmm. All right, any suggestions on this? There's no real like exciting blue or white cards. Rabid Noor is like pretty good. The gold cards are all pretty good. Could just take the Mentor and maybe we could splash the Castrol. Um, oh, I guess they're all called Mentors. He tells. You take Rabid Noor. Yeah. Oh, the Ramp Food. I haven't actually played with this card yet. It seems pretty nice. Is it better than the gold uncommons? I think I'm just going to take the Mentor, the Leap to Splash Mentor, but... Okay, this card's fucked up. Calamitous Tide has seemed very silly. Is this card that good? It's Sea God's Revenge, except it replaces itself. It's Sea God's Revenge with, that's card neutral and card filtering. Isn't that just, like, absurd? This felt really strong to me so far. You wish you were card neutral. Also, we know we're, like, likely to end up in a blue deck at the moment. Oh my god, this card's great. In uh, blue-white. Very, very solid, because blue-white's really happy with uh, 04 blockers. I guess the Swarm is probably the best card in the pack, but there's also a Brawl as well. <laughs> hey, Serena. Uh, this set is all the cute creatures, basically. <laughs> so what's going on here. Pretty, pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I think I just want Builder's Talent. Builder's Talent's really nice with the thing that makes two rabbits at common. Reveal the top X cards. For each card type, exile a card from among them, put the rest into your graveyard. You may cast a card from them without paying its ma- Oh my god. This is Divination? At baseline? Oh, it's not Divination. Sometimes you only draw one. Hmm. I guess we still take it, right? Yeah, if you hit two of the same card type. Otherwise, it's a Traxxer. Kind of sad that it exiles them forever on the things you don't take. Oh, this pack is so unexciting. I really don't particularly want any of these. Rabbit response can be very good in some white decks, I guess. I don't know if this is really the one. How is this going so late? Oh, there's also a brawl. Holy shit, that's a late brawl. Is there any world we could still end up in blue-green? Like, I should maybe just take this in case we open a really good blue-green card. Hmm. I'm going to decide seems kind of nice with our Calamity. Uh... Into the flood more. Just unsummon. Oh, it's only opponents. Might still want it, I guess. I probably want it more than any of this other nonsense. This water spout warden. Oh, should I be playing with that card more? The free two? I have not played much Water Spell Warden yet. Wow, this is so late. Good lord. 
Uh, I'm going to take this. We could actually end up blue red here. We only have the two white cards. Alu that's such a late alu map pick, but we aren't doing the green white thing, so probably not great for us. We already have a lot of card advantage in whatever we end up playing. Otters is the worst archetype. Okay, that makes sense. Maybe, maybe we won't end up in that. Oh my god, the green shell. There's also a looter. The looter is bananas as well. But I guess we're just, just um. Maybe blue green here. God, the loot is so silly. Yeah, we are it's just ass. Okay. We will not, in fact, take them storm catch mentor as a signal then. Green shell or looter? Looter ends up in our deck 100% of the time, whereas it's not clear we're going to end up in blue green. Seems like our deck's like much more positioned to be good in blue white, right? With like a control E deck. That's very silly there. Okay, this is kind of nice of our green shell. And it helps us splash the castrol. There is a fell as well, but I don't really want to splash for that. That's cool. Bird, frog, otter, or rat. Assume I just want the port mage. It's a nice tutor up. The mount, the moose. Mmm. The 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, port mage is nice. For sure. Oh my god, that card's nice too. Uh, definitely take this over the root weaver. Need to get some of the one ones to flicker though. It's good with the port mage. Oh my god! One creature spells as though they have flash. Frogs, otters, rats, and birds. Okay, so it does pump our frogs. I assume this card is great. Definitely worth trying anyway, there's nothing else here for us. Calamitous Tide with Flash, hell yeah. Oh, this card felt really busted when I had it the other day. Uh, there's also a Bloom Creed Manta, which could be nice to splash. And there's Pearl of Wisdom, which I don't think really is exciting. Regard Duo is a good one to blink, that's true. I kind of want the Bodyguard, but maybe it's worse where I don't have much in the way of food here. Maybe it's just going to be a lot worse in this deck than it was in my other one. I probably should have taken something different out of that pack. The Pond Profit is phenomenal. Wouldn't actually hate a Sun Shower Druid. Potentially. Am I ever playing a second Water Spout Warden? Draw up is something I could realistically... Realistically play. Another Pond Prophet. Oh, the village seems cool too. I think I just want the Pond Prophet though. None of the lands have seemed like you necessarily have time to use them that much. I kind of just want my synergies set up. All right. Uh, sure. Might as well take this over a runaway together. We already have a lot of bounce. Not playing this builder's talent. We are slashing the castro. Probably not playing the squire. Hmm, Rampage just seemed really impressive, but probably not so much in our deck. I guess we likely want this Spell Dryer. How good is Jolly Gerbils on the Splash? Uh, we don't have that many gifts, right? We have a Gift to Tapped Fish. 
Yeah, we don't have the gifts for the gerbils. The spell dry is just good. Seems so situational. I've had it look really good against me. What? What is this? This is absurd. Okay. Alan is busted. Yeah. Like Hadana's climb, but Turbo charged. I could take the Sentinel, I guess, for the frogs. The duo is kind of nice with our um bushy bodyguard. Maybe I do want the Sentinel. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> combo, combo deck. Dazzling Denial. Counter target spell unless it's controller phase two. Me. Might not hate this banishing light. We don't really have removal other than bounce spells. Not clear we can splash it, but maybe we can. Yeah, that combo seems incredibly silly. In standard. I kind of want to play it. You also get to play Liliana of the Veil and like insta ult to make them sack half their board. Which seems fun too. Okay, a third prophet's good with our synergies and a root weaver is good for our splash and how expensive our calamitous tides are. Hello, sorry for bothering you, but I'm going to post a message in chat that's really annoying and that you're going to instantly find me out for. Or block me for. <laughs> oh. This is kind of sweet with like the blink effects. Oh my god, we have so many pawn profits. I might want this sugar coat. We don't really need a fourth pawn profit. Hmm. Alright. Fort Shucker. That doesn't really seem like something more that likely to play. Is stocking the pantry ever good? It's so hard to imagine. Hey Shay. It's so hard to imagine a world in which stocking the pantry is a card you want in your deck. The last pick rare for the collection, I was very pleased by that. Hmm. Oh my god, stop with these stupid CFB ratings. Holy shit, how do I turn this off? Uh Save me. Save me. All right, I need to turn this off. It will drive me crazy. I really don't care what ratings the cards get from CFB. I don't know. I don't know how to turn it off. I think we're just cursed. <laughs> That's true, Hasta. That's true. An excellent point. All our two drops are so good. I guess this... Is going to play out more like a four drop in the stack. Uh, might cut the warden. Might cut the duo potentially, although it's pretty like fine. We've got some fine stuff to flicker. Are we splashing this banishing light? Can we? Splash this banishing lights. We're definitely splashing Castrol, even with no other birds. A few other birds. Wait, is this a bird? Where is it? The awful free two, where did it go? It's not a bird. The rabbit card. Oh, this? Isn't this card great? It's pretty nice to flicker. Right? Maybe I'm wrong. 
I might get Shore up. I kind of want to play the Slash Portal instead. Don't draw a card. That's true. We can, like, bounce it with this. Oh my god, these CF B ratings are driving me crazy. I will look into how to turn them off in a minute. Cannot believe people want their screen clogged up like this. Hmm. So the bell is like kind of a land. I think I might be cutting this banishing light. I think we're kind of fine on removal. I don't really want to splash this. I'd like very minimal splash just for Castrol, which is going to be like the Root Weaver is one source. The bell is a source. We could even just play one planes and probably be fine, honestly. Maybe that's a little little sketch. Oh, do I really want this lily pad village? It seems bad. Is spell dryer good? I don't know. It's felt pretty reasonable when I've cast it, but I'm like we don't have that much stuff at four. But maybe it's not. Oh, what are our types like? We've got lots of creatures, one artifact, lots of lands. I kind of want it almost as an in. Yeah, it might have enough to do to with its mana that it doesn't need the draw to. That's true. Are we playing this portent of calamity? I kind of want to cut it. I kind of feel like Spell Dry is going to be better than Portent of Calamity on average. I think it kind of stinks. Let's get rid of it. Mm, so I think the final cut might just be a land when playing this bell. Although I could also just cut the bell. Does the bell have any synergies at this point? We don't really need it. Yeah, the bell has like zero synergies, right? Cool. It made a lot more sense when we had Builder's Talent, but we do not have that anymore. Okay, this deck seems good. Let's uh, try it out. Uh, hmm, well. <laughs> hey, perfect. All right, this hand got way better with that draw step. <laughs> Bandit's Talent, oh my god. With the discard and non-land, it's probably just this Baker's Bane duo, right? So that I can do turn four Castrol. Bandit's talent has looked like kind of a banger. Oh my god. Oh, that one I'm going to have to answer at some point. I might just do it now. Got myself taking damage. For an additional card for one or fewer. Okay. Hopefully they just can't kill my bird with their... Black red removal deck. By the way, Bartera is a nice one. I agree. I'm so worried I'm just going to cast this and it's just going to die. I kind of just want to do this instead. And not let them use... Like, if they're holding open removal spells, I just don't want them using it on a thing I care about. This way we can either make them waste their mana or they have to, like, kill a thing I don't have any investment in. Yeah, they wasted their mana. Okay. He draws a card, it's true. Also a frog. Many, many upsides. And now I get to flashing Castrol. Ooh.
hope that's how this works. Oh no, non-creatures, fuck. Look, we're learning, we're learning, we're learning. Okay, look, it's fine. Now they're gonna use a removal spell on my flood caller and my castro will live. It's all planned, it's all planned. Oh my God, the first like five drafts of the format are such a disaster. Ooh, okay. Well, well, well. I only one in yard for my bodyguard currently. Um, let's just attack for two and play my cast rule. And it is probably gonna die, and then we are probably gonna lose the game, because it's all we have going for us. Okay, they don't have the instant speed doom blade. That's good news. They did have the instant speed doom blade. <laughs> sure, I guess they drew it for turn. <sighs> I don't think I'm allowed to discard two lands when they're about to level these up. Unfortunately. Bandited again, indeed. Is there anything in their yard for this? Oh no, this is the Haven, okay. Less scary. One or fewer, so we need to never be at one or fewer cards or else we just lose the game. I think I'm allowed to play all land. I don't really have much removal for this duo. Fortunately. Surprised they didn't attack with the assassin. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's see what we can find. I mean, this can trade with this and it draws a card. This is like a pretty nice pair of cards, honestly. I'm still in a pretty bad spot, but definitely helps things. They left the card on top, which is terrifying. All right, I feel pretty priced into blocking. I'm not allowed to go down to free, even though it would be nice to like talent to grow this. God damn it. Well, I think that means we're like pretty much dead. They're gonna start drawing basically a billion cards. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised they didn't attack with like both their creatures, honestly. Kind of what I expected them to do anyway. All right, draw a card. Pull this up. The duo is like basically lethal. Gonna put me to two and then I need to find a way to deal with it. I have a kill spell on my deck that I could draw. I don't really have much else though. I'm through both of my flyers, I think. 
Oh, now if it dies, they can get it back with this? Yeah, so that's probably just lethal then. That deck is like real solid. Oh, we even drew the kill spell. Ah. Uh, the problem is if we kill this, we just die to the mud flat village. Maybe they sack the mud flat village. Uh, a lot of wishful thinking going on. <laughs> Yeah, I just can't win this game. Unfortunate. Yeah, then we died to the Rat Grave Digger. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> this planes. I mean, I'm keeping, obviously. This planes could be an issue, though. Were we not splashing, it would be able to cast the Pond Prophet. Didn't feel like we had a ton of agency in that game. Yeah. And that's okay. Um, I kind of want a talent next turn to start growing my stuff. I guess I can pond profit this turn since it's a nice thing to grow. It gives me more options. If I draw into a forest, then I would get to play and activate. Hmm, oh my god, what a good card. I think I'm just casting this. They might kill my Prophet. But if they do, I'm kind of fine with that, because then they've used a removal spell on my Elvish Visionary, you know? And if they don't, it's fantastic for me. Yeah, exactly. Pretty happy if they're Doomblading our Elvish Visionary. Draw that card. All right, we do need to find a land next turn, but. Excellent draw. We're gonna be getting down the talents. 100%. That's a question of what else are we doing? We could, I don't really wanna use a removal spell on this. It seems like this doesn't desperately matter. Hmm. Just play this because I'm happy to have it die. Not not that I want the raccoon to die, you have to understand, but you know, I can trade it off and be fine with that. Hey there, Sinner. Do I want to attack? Not clear I want to trade this off. I think I'm just like pretty chill. Am I? I'm doing great. Other than the heat, there's like a heat wave in the UK at the moment. Don't love that, but my boy is doing pretty great. Next time we can level up, play Port Mage, and have Polywallop open. Order our land, and you know, that's phenomenal for us if we do. God, mouse. Okay, that one's good. Do I stream daily? I try and stream a few days a week. I'm not as, like, consistent as, it, as I would maybe like to be, but... <laughs> I mean, this is a very good card. Uh, so what am I growing? I guess the Lurker? Is 
is this my favorite game? Honestly, probably not, but uh, I enjoy it. Quite a bit. Oh my god, that's a good card. Alright, well, I think I'm just gonna kill that thing. Is that gonna grow it anyway? This puts us so far ahead on board. Do I have a Discord? I do. Uh, I I don't need any of that stuff. I'm sorry, Sinner. I am good. Get this down, and then my astral will trigger it. it seems pretty excellent. No, I am not interested. All right. If I put it on the green shell, it becomes harder for them to kill. Honestly, that's pretty appealing. It gives it ward one. What a mighty turtle. Uh, that's fucked up. Okay. All right. I... Uh, doing that. Uh, what am I doing? Hmm. God, this Wolverine was so good. Suddenly I'm in, like, danger. <laughs> I was doing so well for myself. And yeah, here we are. Um, that's a weirdly good draw. Does that have reach? It does not. I'm gonna be checking every single creature for reach now. Too scarred from earlier. Uh, that would be strong if they could forage, which they cannot. It does have reach though. You know, that's annoying. Uh, we can now spell Dryer. Kinda just wanna do that and like draw to you. And look for some messed up stuff. Or at least look for lands for this green shell. Also an option. Yeah, I kind of want both of these, I think. Okay. If I was to find a land, I would get to hit with Castrol. I'm wondering whether I meant to like Get a high toughness creature in play to fish for that. Sounds pretty appealing. I um just put tap to planes, obviously. Calamitous Tide, all right, this game's over. They cannot beat me casting Calamitous Tide next turn. That is also strong. Do I attack with my River Lurker? I assume so. Oh, I get to attack with this as well, right? They only have, oh no, they have nine power. Probably pretty bad attack. All right, getting in for eleven. What are they doing? <sighs> sure. Uh... 
I assume I have no birds in my yard. This is merely just an Ojatai. A humble Ojatai. Oh, right. I could have swung out. Look. That's true. And the good, the good news is we're pretty unlikely to die regardless. <laughs> but you are correct. And then they'd have to, like, chump block a thing or trade with a thing. And so we wouldn't die on the swing back to almost anything. All right. If these do have ward ones, the Calamitous Tide is going to cost eight. I feel like we can cope with that cost. Four, eight. Do I get to cast this beforehand? I believe I do. Seems pretty good. I should have attacked first to get my untap. <laughs> Doesn't most irrelevant game action ever, but technically, technically better. Uh, this is acceptable. Although the forest island split continues to be slightly awkward. I should have maybe played this, I guess. It doesn't make any difference. I'll get this down. Could arguably have been better to do this this turn, because then I could go pawn profit and level up next turn. I suppose that is true. You get jump scared by Pinkie Pie. I feel like Pinkie Pie is the only one I've ever seen people actually use. <laughs> Literally the only one. All right, let me draw two. I kind of just want to bounce this. I feel like that's going to be pretty good tempo. There were others? Oh, maybe there weren't others. I don't know. I assumed there were others. Yeah, maybe there aren't. Hmm. Oh, if only we could level this up. Alas. I could just hold open spell dryer and get a nice counter spell in, and then I can cast both of these next turn anyway. I think I'm pretty happy to count like spend my turn countering this. Whilst I am getting all the value from this innkeeper's talent. Oh. It uses my mana so nicely. I am just gonna counter that. It is pretty spooky. Poor shucks. Well, it's profit. Be in yard, cool. Play out this other profit. Pretty good. <laughs> Island situation is phenomenal, but I assume a blue red deck really struggles to interact with Innkeeper's talent, huh? <laughs> K 
Hey, we did it. We did the impossible. Um, let's just grow this into a free free and swing. And probably play head of the homestead because I don't want to run Skyskipper duo into a counter spell. Whereas, like, I don't really care if this gets countered. Nice. All right, that is a fine exchange for us. We are up a rabbit token. May the two for ones continue. We have four in yard. We are two away from the full rate bodyguard. The rabbit advantage. The rabbit advantage is real. No one can beat the rabbit advantage. All right. The two for ones continue. Delightful. You love to see it. I guess this is also about to be a two for one, but feel like we can cope with that. Rabbit is a huge advantage indeed. Look at it. Can't be beat. Seven whole months. Blue Castrol, thank you for the seven entire months of support <laughs> thank you thank you oh this is a chunky fellow all right now the shuck is online they are doing things but it's not clear any of it's gonna matter Or foraging. Good point. <laughs> I probably should do that. If I sugarcoat on the same turn, I can do both. So that sounds like a pretty reasonable idea. Yeah, let's just uh, level this up. We only have four in yard though, we're a little ways away. Hit this crab. I uh, guess we're on defense, question mark? Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just swinging for seven. And murdering them. Getting aggressive feels really unnecessary in my current position. So this might be like kind of questionable. Darker drawing multiple cards. It would make it playable. <laughs> I guess it's fine. It's like a fine card. It would be pretty busted if it could do that, yeah. Right, this bro. What? Oh, it's prowess. Learning every day. I kind of want this in the yard. My bodyguard, anyway. I might just save myself the full life. We very much have the long game here. Yeah, it's not like the most pleasant word in the world. What on earth is this? Oh, cool. That's fine. Hmm. Castro Avatar. Oh, do those exist? 
for reasons. Okay, okay. It took me a moment. I was really slow on that one. I was really slow on that one. I now understand the reasons. Planes is kind of nice. Uh, let's grow our 4-4. Four -four. Yeah. Get in there for 6. I do worry that I've been playing this game like needlessly aggressively and I'm going to die as a result. It is even blue. Do you need to change your name to like Azorius Cast Azorius Castrol? <laughs> blue white Castrol. <laughs> Turn to Bloom Bloomborough next year with Bono Blue Castrol. Mm hmm As an uh, an alignment change. Am I just flood calling? I suppose I am. It's fine. Valley Flood Cooler has felt a little bit less impressive than I expected. Although I guess we're not really the deck for it, necessarily. Yeah, fantastic in the Otter deck, but less so here. Kind of almost want to keep this because it's a thing I can hold up alongside Spell Dryer. But also, it doesn't seem very good. So, <laughs> I, I guess we'll get rid of it. Um, I guess I guess it not seeming very good is a good reason to get rid of it. <laughs> I'll try it this turn or next turn? Yes, this turn. Uh, sure, yes. I suppose so. Different arts show different types of casteroles. Amazing. I would never have realized that. We drew Port Mage. Oh, that's pretty good. I do agree. Uh, it's just... I guess I should do this first because I could draw into the... What's it called? The enchantment throws my critters. It's fine. Get in for free. They are trading. Very acceptable. They do have free in the yard now for foraging purposes, but. Yeah, the poor mage is real nicer. Which of these I meant to cast? It draws so many cards. Hope it doesn't die. It's like pretty hard for them to kill it. Yeah, they had the forage. That's acceptable. Getting down the attacker. Rip. Uh, let us bounce a profit whilst we're able. Planes. will probably be good at some point. Draw a card. Draw a gun. 
<laughs> we have so many profits. It's kind of comical. I bet he almost wants to hold open Sugarcoat for a fight spell, but oh. <laughs> Funny. Uh if I bounce this, they get to draw another card, but we get in for six. Is that worth? They go to 11. I'm pretty cool with them spending their turn recasting this. Right? That sounds like very acceptable to me. No! Why? Okay. <laughs> Conceded when you stabilize the try instead of trying to deck you. <laughs> Living your best life. With the absurd long game, that's only if our port mage doesn't die. If our port mage dies, our deck starts to look a bit more mopey. Oh my god, they have drawn three cards. You only get one turn off from the port mage though. Oh my god, what a draw. Phenomenal draw has been found. Easy draw too. Oh, am I meant to sugarcoat this? Is this worth so much damage is the thing. I worry that it's like a waste. But it is worth an absurd amount of damage. I get to draw two. Hell yes. All right, that's probably game over. <laughs> Calamitous Tide seems exceptionally hard for them to beat right now. Results. What's that? One-sided upheaval. Don't mind if I do. Calamitous Tide is like if Upheaval also gave you a divination. <laughs> you know, this is definitely the most reasonable statement I've ever said. Oh, come back. I wanted to play my Broken Wrath. My opponent drew a lot of cards and then died horrifically. So, you know, that's nice. Yeah, sounds pretty nice. Although they have a very spooky turn one. Only hitting me for one though. Nice, nice. Now comes the Nettle Guard. Pond Prophet's pretty good against that. I want to just bounce this for tempo. I know the Pond Prophet's good against it, but I really want to River Luck in my Pond Prophet. My bag seems pretty aggressive. Just slowing them down might be reasonable. All right, do the thing. Two free can trade with their one two. I feel really dead right now. But we'll see. I feel like my creature sizing might be a little bit awkward this game.
half maker. Okay. Pretty cool. Right, they're not doing anything. They are giving me a breather. Thank goodness. I want to just do this and bounce the pawn profits. Free free is a good blocker. And then next turn I can just double spell if I want. Yeah. Do that. Now they get to play two things. They aren't rabbits though. All right, this is gonna be a lot of damage. Popping the free free from blocking, so they get in for eight. I don't think I want to chump block. I think every creature matters at the moment. Hmm, the port nature. All right, I uh, guess I maybe should have cast my Pom Profit before playing a land. Unclear that it really matters. Okay, this is a lot of blockers. This is good. Uh, I probably just want to flash in the flood cooler. Surprise blocker. Currently, this blocks this pretty well. Figure the rest out. Uh, feel like that was a mistake. <laughs> Put in the crease. Like to not block my palm profit if possible. Okay. Get down my tutu. I definitely just want to play head of the homestead this turn. There's some good blocking. And then next turn we can do both of these and hopefully that starts pulling us ahead. Mouse trapper. Oh boy, that one's good. Although my frog has ward, which helps a bit against this. It's also only the first time each turn. Okay. This is a very aggressive attack. Um, so if they have the plus two, plus one, I should play around that card. They could also have tramp, the trample trick, which would completely suck. Uh, free two obviously goes on mouse trapper. Rabbit response. It does seem likely. It does seem likely. Hmm. I could do like this, and that plays around rabbit response. Uh doing even this has me taking lethal i guess i have to block with my pawn profit very sad there has to be a better block setup than this i really want to keep this alive like pretty desperately maybe i just do some chump blocking Is this fine? This is probably fine. All right. 
Hey, Sophia. Yeah, I'm doing an early stream today. I'm probably heading off in a little bit. Um, I have something happening this evening, so I thought I would get this in early. And then tomorrow it should be a nice long stream, because tomorrow I don't really have any big commitments. Right? That was a little brutal, but we are alive. Um... So yes, I want to do this and then flicker the pawn profit. I know I'm missing a damage here. I don't think it matters in this way we play around the deal four, I guess. Playing some foggies, indeed. All right, if we had to untap and things aren't disastrous, I think we're in a good position, but. Double strike or trample. These aren't mice, right? Cool. That seems good for us then. Okay. Obviously we're trading with the five free. Do I have to chump the host? I would really like to not chump the host. I don't even think I have to, right? Yeah. Like, we have this food, and we're going to be doing a bunch- Oh my gosh, that's, this is a good card to draw as well. This makes not chumping nice. Now I get to do all three two-mana things. I guess I just do this now. Uh, do I want to polywallop now? I kind of don't. I kind of want to be able to just like play around combat tricks, I guess. Obviously killing the host could matter, but... Alright, really close to stabilizing. That is so much bullshit. Um, right. God fucking damn it. Okay. Believe this is the play. Oh, this is gonna become a free to this combat. Oh my god, because of the the mouse. Okay. Maybe this is worse than I thought. Yeah. I think we're actually pretty far behind now. Our removal spell was quite brutal. Trample double strike. Wait, it doesn't even do anything against the sport mage, right? I really don't want to chump block. Okay. Obviously, like, there are cards in the format that kill me now that I'm this low on life, but I don't think I'm allowed to chump block there. We're still fine. This is, this is a, a very generous description, but maybe. I get to turn this into a 2-4 now. Is pretty okay. Or maybe a free five. <sighs> if I turn it into a free five, then I don't get to sugarcoat plus bounce. I think a two four is good enough. It blocks all their stuff and eats all their stuff, which is what we care about. Okay. Sounds like it's gonna be good at some point. Cool.
Very nice for us. Cool. We get to bounce this and start drawing cards. That is also good. All right. I think I just have to play this. It would be nice to have it for pump spells, but... Maybe I don't have to play it. I get to go like these two and then still have it open. It's just so good at keeping me alive through pump spells. Yeah, I kind of buy that. I do have to kill them at some point, but oh my god. So many bodies. It would be nicer once um, this is leveled up though. Now I just want to do this. Hmm. I really have no idea. really close to turning the corner. Really, really close. What's the current record? I think we're three and one. Something like that. We're doing okay. First time drafting frogs. We do have to start killing them at some point soon because we're dead to a deal free at any point, but I think I need to keep sitting on this sugar coat as much as it's sucking up a lot of mana to do so. Though unimpressed with Red's Valiant theme. Yeah, it's looked pretty good, but you definitely need some of the tools for it to come together. All right, the mouse is going to get pumped. Thing is, this is only a 4-3, right? I can still just block it. And if they have a trick, we're ready for that. All right. I think with them hellbent, this is just good. And now we start killing them. As fast as possible. That's also pretty good. Okay. Probably be attacking before doing this. Not let them know that we are playing the squirrel. Uh, I think I just grow this and get in for nine, and the next turn Calamitous Tide should kill them. Oh, I should have the reach open for a flying trick. I'm that was bad. I should not have attacked with the mentor because I'm still going to kill them next turn anyway, and I should make sure I don't die to. The plus one plus O oh flying enchantment. All right. Uh, so I bounce two creatures. They can block my three largest creatures and they take eight, which is not lethal, notably. These don't have haste, this doesn't have haste. I kinda wanna bounce these, because they're the ones that deal damage to me. There's a bunch of things we can draw into that are lethal here. Or they could scoop, and that's also fine.
I'm so bad. I don't think I'm allowed to mulligan, but it's pretty heinous. Um, I worry that them chump blocking and putting me to two just makes me dead to a perfect a bunch more things. And that them having an extra chump blocker next turn is irrelevant, but definitely be wrong. Uh yes, I am flood calling. Sure. That's so good. I have so many raccoons. Yeah, we're like pretty dead. Feels like. Feels like we are pretty dead. Maybe I meant to hold this to do something better with it. Instead of just making an extra food. Making extra food's pretty unexciting. Also, I feel like I need the free free to block with. All right. Crash Tactician. Or do you have six mana? Where is terrifying? Need to accept, spend eight to draw to you. Hmm, let's see. Dunes, indeed. All right, I guess I just offer the trade. Getting rid of a raccoon makes more at least a tiny, tiny bit less scary. You have to root for my opponent. Honestly, valid. Oh my god, I literally can't do that. Okay. Honestly, valid. You love a good raccoon. All right, into the flood more. Interesting. Buy me some time. I wish um, giving a tapped fish also let you target your own stuff. That would be very cool. Is this just the best common on tormenting voice ever? I. Uh... What does this do? Right. Wrong. Yeah, so curious if they tried it with that text. I'm also curious about that. Hey, Scooter. Right. They get back the raccoon thing. Uh, yes, I'm not sacking a food because I have lots of mana anyway to do it later. And I have the 2-1 that wants me to forage. Fighting the bugs in BO3. I've heard it's rough out there at the moment. This, that's uh, a good one. I cannot imagine any combination of cards that will let me win this game. <laughs> oh, these are raccoons, great, cool. 
Amazing. Um, I could bounce this and counter it. Sounds awful. I can't... Re yeah, I guess I just want to surveil two, draw two, right? I'm not going to win the game by bouncing this. If I do it in their turn, my duo grows, so it's a better blocker. That turn. Rabbit control. BB's rabbiting on. Okay, Calamity style is nice. Let us just do this in a desperate attempt to buy breathing room. Bun fool. The perfect name. This stuff's pretty good against my bounce spell. Honestly. It might still be good to bounce the rampager anyway. Buy time whilst we try and set up something powerful. Yeah, I think we need to. Hey, that is some, those are something powerful. Jeez, both of those are great. Okay. Both of those are great. Green shell is pretty hard for a red green deck to deal with. This is four mana to do full mode. Okay, we're just going to say go, I guess. Back of food. Back comes Muera. Hey, Kali. Oh my god. They, uh, they're all in on raccoons, huh? Apparently so. Okay, if we hit a land off this green shell, it's gonna be very funny. Dang it. <laughs> oh, I might need to turn this into a food. I really wanted to get my bodyguard down this turn, but Murara is uh, spooky, spooky. Gonna draft a best deck. Pretty nice. Frick. God damn it. Hitting a not hitting a land is so bad apparently. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. My turtle. <sighs> Thought we had a chance for a moment. Okay. In 10. So block down this 4 5. And, no, yeah, I could block down the 4 5 instead, I guess. I lose a lot of things, but probably pretty necessary. I do lose a lot of things. Notably, losing the Pond Profits is really brutal with, like, the Flicker stuff being in our deck at the moment, but we just kind of have to do that, I think. Okay, Polly Wallop kind of punishes me a bit, but fine. I don't think I have any Graveyard Synergies. I just say go. Oh. Should maybe have held a land at some point for my other Calamitous Tide. All right, here comes the 4 4.
and come the critters. Mm. What am I hoping for here? I don't know. What am I hoping for? So hard to even know what does anything here. I have a 4-4 four, four in my deck I can draw. All the 4-5. Calamitous Tide. Those all kind of do something. My worry is blocking like this means it's like really hard to block these one ones now. But hey. Hmm, strong, strong. Have nothing, please. <sighs> Oh my god, okay. Hmm. I got a free? I think that probably means game over, right? I, don't, I guess Calamitous Tide would be the one thing that saves me. I get to like bounce the token, bounce something else, draw a good, good blocker. All right, I definitely have time for at least one more game. These fucking planes, I swear. These planes keep um, making our opening hands like janky. But we keep drawing the forest, so it's like, fine. We actually have a thing we can use the planes on. It's fine, chat. Everything's fine. Too easy. What is the planes for? We have Castrol in our deck. Very cool card. All right, Splash Portal's really sick with Bomb Profit. One mana divination. The bears in fandom were adorable. Mm -hmm. Agree. What was this? Ooh. Oh my god, the Dower Port Mage. I'm going to draw so many cards. Good lord. Do I do this now? Could also just Pom Profit. I guess Dower Port blocks. It's kind of weird because, like, yeah, I think this is fine. We do have Literal Ancestral Recall. The problem is, if I cast it in my turn, I have to discard. And if I cast it in their turn, we potentially play into a removal. But also, it is a thing we literally have. So that's nice. You can just double block and see what they have. What? Wait, it's a sorcery? Oh my god. I didn't realize that. Okay, okay. Apparently, that card is a lot weaker than I realized. Cool. Oh. So painful. I did not realize it was a sorcery. I feel very silly. We don't have Lister Ancestral Recall, it's true. Learning cards is a painful experience sometimes, huh? You also assumed it was an instant C. I'm not even being that unreasonable. <laughs> Hmm. 
It's fine. Head of the homestead's gonna do a lot of work here. I wonder if I needed to play the bodyguard to not die instead. Maybe, maybe. Like, oh wait, that's fine. <laughs> It's almost an upside. It gets a card in our yard for a bodyguard. Deploy the homestead. Now if both of these die, we get to full mode the bodyguard. Oh my god. Full mode the bodyguard. Kinda dying here. This is so sus. Oh my god. Yeah. Going to one sounds heinous. Guess I just do this instead. All right. Okay, that's also good. I can do a full mode bodyguard and I can get down my innkeeper's talent. Um, we do kind of have to hope they don't have very much, but... That counts as not very much. That is very acceptable. All right. Uh... Probably only need one kill spell open. It would be nice to start that links up. Probably gonna have to kill this warlock, right? Because it has menace. But maybe they do a weird attack to try and kill, like, get in some damage here. If I wait. Okay. The dagger thang mills two. Oh, they chose not to for some reason. All right, I should definitely just fire off a kill spell right now. On the Death Toucher or the Menacer? I guess the Death Toucher. They're both pretty annoying, but I guess the other one's going down this turn. Anyway. I really want to start attacking ever. Okay. There you go. Well, that's a blocker. I guess I grow it. And then get in with my 6-6. Six, six. Start killing them. And we have like a pretty fast clock. We have the sugar coat protecting us. 
Am I allowed to attack with two creatures? That seems pretty sketchy. Now it has ward one, ward one, it's true. It's uh, ward trigger will protect itself from its ward trigger. All right, lethal squirrel. Excellent. I did not expect to win that game. <laughs> Several turns ago, I felt very dead. The Threaten Lizard, yeah, that would have got me. But I also need to kill them. I can't just, like, sit around. Uh, I believe I actually have to... Timing, let's check. Am I allowed to play one more? I think I probably have to head off now, sadly. Uh, tomorrow, there will be actually a longer stream because I'm aware I haven't streamed much this week.